Welcome back. In today's video, I just want to show everybody what your outside unit should be doing if everything is working correctly. Why am I showing this? Because if you know what it's supposed to do and something is broke, you'll be able to compare it and quickly figure out what's wrong with it. Okay? First thing to point out, this is my disconnect. If you have a problem with working around power, you may want to get somebody who's comfortable working with electricity. Okay? One of those whips goes inside, and one of them goes down and into the unit. Where it goes inside the unit is where I'm going to be working today. Okay. You're either going to need a quarter inch or 516 nut driver. This is quarter inch. And an electric multi -gear. The first thing I notice is that my fan is working. Spinning. I can hear the compressor, which is a good thing. Okay. Now I'm going to look at these copper lines that are going inside. What you'll notice is that this one, this is my suction or the low side of the system. Usually it's insulated like this all the way up to the unit, but there's a little insulation that's been torn back. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's sweating, okay? This line should feel about the same temperature as a cold can of Coca-Cola or Sprite or whatever soda you like. It should be about the same as a cold one fresh out of the refrigerator, about 54, 56 degrees, okay? And then you have this small copper line that comes out. This is your high side. It's going to be high pressure side of the system, and it should be about the same temperature as whatever the outdoor temperature is uh, maybe even up to 10 degrees hotter than that if it's hot to the touch you've got a problem okay now let's get into the condenser itself today we're looking at a Goodman condenser you want to be very careful when pulling these panels off if it's running Okay. They're all going to be different. Today's unit looks like this. Okay. Now I'm making videos to describe each one of these components separately just so you have a better idea of how to work on everything. So this is your contactor. Your power, your voltage comes in the bottom, those two wires goes out the top and it either goes to the compressor or the fan okay if your fan is running and these lines are cold and hot then you know your compressor is running you know your fan is running this is a capacitor if you look at the front it has 50 plus 5 and then what looks like a UF this is microfarads Okay. And I have a capacitor video to explain this in more detail. And that's it. On this unit, it's pretty simple. Uh, you have your wire coming from the thermostat. It plugs into the sides. There's also one on the other side. That, let's see if I can show you. Okay, It's down there on the side. That is low voltage coming from your thermostat. So... When you call for cooling, it should have 24 volts there. So let's look. Let me show you what the meter should read. What you want to check for, okay? With everything running, I want to push this side button and open up the clamp and put just one wire through there. And I want to turn my meter to amps. Okay, my system shows 12.5 amps, and that's pretty good for this system. If I look at the at the label, you can see RLA. That's running load amps. Should be about 14.4 is what it's designed for. Okay. 
pretty close. And I know my AC is running because I've already checked it. Okay. Now I'm going to turn my meter to volts to show you what everything should look like. Okay. First, I want to take my leads very carefully. And I want to put them on the front, on the bottom of my contactor. It's 240 volts. That's good. This is a 240 volt unit. You may have 208 that comes into it. This is 240. Okay? And then, to make sure your contactor is running properly, you're going to put your leads on the top of this contactor. Still on voltage. Oh, it slipped off. There we go. And now I know I have 240 volts going through. That's what it should look like. So now let's check for voltage from the thermostat. Okay, still on the contactor. I'm gonna put one on the side and I'm gonna find just the metal case. I'm gonna put one there. And my meter actually reads 24 volts. Let's see if I can adjust this. It shows 24 volts. So, 24 volts from there to the case. 240 here, 240 there. That's what everything should look like. The condenser coils are inside of these louvers. Inside there you can see the little, little metal pieces in there. And it looks pretty clean in there. If it's dirty, these will be all blocked up where you can't get any airflow through it. Now, if you want to know how to check the things with the power off, I go I go into that in different videos. Check out my other videos. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Leave any comments down below if you'd like to learn about something else.